What do you want? Hey, it's Mina. I know I haven't been on here for a bit, but we're not gonna worry about that. What I do wanna do today is I want to have a tree monitor set up. This is my old iMac 27. Um, and this is an old Dell monitor that was given to me as a gift. Some friends moved to another state and they didn't wanna carry that, they gave it to me. This is my MacBook Air. In today's video, I am gonna show you my extended display two monitor setup to my refurbished MacBook Air circa 2017. How I got this done and how you can do this too. First, what is an extended display? This is when you connect two or more monitors to one computer so that you can easily look at and do different things on each screen. Why am I creating this setup for myself? I film and edit video. I also write and I do research. It is hard for me to edit video on my 13 inch laptop screen. At 53 years of age, I do not have the time nor the patience to be switching back and forth on tabs, documents, and video editing. My ideal setup is to dedicate one monitor to video editing, one monitor to writing, and another monitor to doing research. Let's get started. Here is what I have. You may have something similar or something a little different. By the end of this video, you will have a good understanding of what your next step will be in setting up two monitors to your laptop. In no particular order, I have a refurbished 2017 MacBook Air. I will get into refurbished laptops in a future video, whether they are worth your time or not. A 27 inch iMac from 2012. This was my main computer before the MacBook Air. It was amazing, it still is, and still has some kick left in it. I had to reinstall the software using an external drive. This will be my video editing monitor, a 24 inch Dell monitor that was gifted to me by friends when they relocated to another state. Because its resolution is a little bit sketchy and because of its age and connections, this will be my writing and research monitor. Let's examine the ports to each. It is important that you know the ports that you have on your laptop and your monitors. A hack I like to use is to go on Amazon and look up what I have to see the correct name for each port. I save the item to a list on Amazon for further research. Another thing you can do is to take a picture of the ports on your laptop on your monitors and do an image search on Google. I tried this and I didn't really get much results, but it could be different for you. If the image search did not work for you, just ask Google questions. When I started asking questions on Google, I discovered a guide titled, A Guide to the Different Types of Monitor Ports by Jamie Spencer. I will leave a link to that article in the description box below should you want to explore that further. On my MacBook Air, we have the following ports. On the left side of the Mac, we have the Mac 2 safe port where the power brick connects to for charging. We have one USB 3 port, we have a headphone port, and dual mics. On the right side of the MacBook Air, we have the Thunderbolt 2 port, another USB 3 port, and an SDXC card slot. The Thunderbolt port and the USB port on this side will be used to connect both monitors. My 27 inch iMac has two Thunderbolt ports and four USB ports. The Thunderbolt ports are important for this setup. My 24 inch Dell monitor has a VGA and a DVI port. The VGA port is important for this setup. There are cables and adapters I purchased for my setup. I will link these below if you have a similar setup. If not, do your due research. You need to find out which cables and adapters work best with your computer and monitors. It is important that as you research cables and adapters, you make sure they are compatible with your system, with your laptop and with your monitors. Because it's not fun to receive a package from Amazon that you're super excited about only to discover that what you ordered is not compatible with your system. It is worth your grain of salt to take time to do the research. Read the article I linked below to confirm your connections. For my 27 inch iMac, I only needed one cable to connect it to my MacBook Air. That is the Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt cable. Mine is about six feet long. For my 24 inch Dell monitor, I bought one cable and two adapters. One VGA to VGA cable, one HDMI to VGA adapter, and one USB to HDMI adapter. When I was studying other videos about this setup, I wanted to avoid the possibility of installing drivers. I don't know why. I thought it was going to be a headache for me to seek out drivers and find the exact one for my setup. I was pleasantly surprised that the adapter I chose to use with my setup 
had step-by-step instructions on where to go to download the driver so that it would work with my laptop. I also discovered that I had to update my software to get everything to work. 25 minutes remaining, no worries. <sighs> Mind you, I don't like to read instructions. However, once I decided to sit down and read the instructions, the setup went off seamlessly. So here's the setup. I bring out my laptop and set it in front of my Dell monitor. I turn on my laptop and sign in. I bring out the connected cables that are hanging behind my Dell monitor. The cool thing with how I set up the height of this monitor is that it created a little hook behind where I can hang my cables when I am done working for the day, giving my workstation a neater appearance. On a side note, if you want a video about my desk setup, comment below. I turn on my Dell monitor. I bring out the USB to HDMI adapter and connect it to the Dell monitor cable. This adapter is chunky and a little bit heavy. So I disconnect it from the cable when I finish for the day and put it away. In essence, the VGA to VGA cable connects from the Dell monitor to the HDMI to VGA adapter. And the USB to HDMI adapter connects to the HDMI to VGA adapter. I connect the USB to HDMI adapter to my MacBook Air through the USB 3 port. Once this cable is connected, the Dell monitor automatically connects. We will talk about fixing resolution in just a moment. I turn on the iMac. It takes a little bit of time for the iMac to warm up as it is an older system. I bring out the Apple keyboard and the Apple mouse and turn each on. I connect the Thunderbolt cable to the Thunderbolt port on the MacBook Air. On the Apple keyboard, I press Command and F2 at the same time and hold my breath. And voila! When I initially created this setup, I had some resolution problems with the Dell. So I went into system preferences and I clicked on displays and then I went to display settings and here everything is called MacBook Air but this is this is my MacBook Air this is my Dell and this is my iMac we're gonna click on here because this is my Dell I'm using my Dell as an extended display the resolution will be scaled I'm gonna click down here to show all resolutions and I'm going to select 1280 by 720. This was more like trial by error. So I had to click on different ones to get the best or the sweet spot of resolutions. And that is what worked best for me. And these, I, I, didn't, even, I didn't even touch. I left them alone. So we hit done. And this area here, you so you click and drag, you can pick up and down and you can move the monitors in the direction that you want. This was best for me so that from my MacBook air I can bring up windows this way or this way back and forth in this direction this works best for me and then that is the setup for my system and there you go here is my extended dual monitor display setup I watched a lot of videos to help me with this setup I learned the most from Amy from self-taught AI she has the same laptop as mine but two different monitors she was the most thorough in her explanations I will link that video below for your reference I will We'll also leave links to the cables and adapters I used here. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content so that I can reach more amazing and epic souls just like you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers.